Hello, everybody. We are back again to talk a little bit. Some more NFL football. It is NFL time. It's almost Thursday night. What, Packers, Thursday? Bears? Packers, Bears. Packers, Bears. This starts Thursday night. the 100th season yeah, and of the oh, National well, the, Football well, the, League. Well, the Packers have played like 120 times or 140 times. Like With the Bears. Remember, I crazy. mean, it's one of the more ancient rivalries in mm-hmm. sports. Yep. Mm-hmm. But uh, what we're doing right now, we're doing previews for each divi- for uh, each division. We've do- we've we've already done the AFC. Time to do the NFC this time. Time to do some predictions for who we think will win each each uh, uh, division in the NFC. So we'll go ahead and start out. What we do? We go north, south, east, west, one, east, two. North, <laughs> south, east, west. So so we'll just go ahead and get on get on get, get on started for you with the NFC North. First of all, we the, the we have four teams in there. We have the Minnesota Vikings, the Green Bay Packers, the Chicago Bears, and Detroit the, the Detroit Lions. Lions. So, you know, last year for the first time in like forever, we got uh, the Chicago Bears <laughs> won the division. Oh yeah, their defense last year was ferocious. I wonder why. Maybe maybe because they had Khalil, Khalil Mack. Mack. <laughs> I still say that's the, one of the stupidest things the Raiders have ever done is get rid of Cleo Mack. Uh, but, man, uh, and people are sort of excited for Chicago, Chicago this year. Uh, again, this is Trubisky's third, third year. year. So this is where he has to prove. He has to prove. I mean, he was drafted number two. In the, he in was, the NFL He was draft. drafted above Mahomes. <laughs> and they traded picks to get him. Uh, so that, it's that time. Was, it's time for Trubisky to show. Like, like I said, that they, he can lead a team. They won on offense. They won uh, their division last year, but lost the first playoff game, didn't they? Uh, the less we mention the double doink kick, the better. Doink, doink. Yeah, we'll, let, let's stay off of that. Um, and then we've got the uh, the cellar dweller, which is always Detroit. I, th- I think Detroit probably finishes last in that division again. Yeah, well, that's Detroit for you that's, right there. I mean, that's Detroit. Continue uh, to waste Matthew Stafford's career. Minnesota's got maybe the best wide receiver group in the NFL. Uh, but Kirk Cousins has a terrible record against. Kirk Cousins couldn't win anything in Washington. Why do you think we're going to win anything there? So I think again, it's going to come down between the master and the newcomer. Which is, of course, Aaron Rodgers is the master. Uh, the Green Bay Packers made some strides to re- to revamp the roster this year. The only thing that doesn't that does a little pulls me back a little bit is first year coach. They got a brand new coach, which so, is very surprising for the Packers. Yeah, you know, they they don't, they keep they haven't had that very many coaches in the past twenty years, thirty years. That's how successful uh, the Packers have been. That's how successful they've been. They keep the same, but it's a brand new coach. And what worries me a little bit is. Uh, uh, he didn't, uh, Aaron Rodgers didn't play any in the preseason. Which, uh, confusing a little bit. I mean, I don't know, I can understand because he's older and he doesn't want to get hurt, so, he, and he's, I mean, he's not going to get better. <laughs> he's, you know, he is what he is. But, the only thing I was worried is the chemistry, and you say, what chemistry? The chemistry between him and the coach. Yes. Because there's chemistry there, too. I mean, when it's third down and three on the 40-yard line and there's a minute 38 left, what do you call? What is the coach going to call? And what is Aaron Rodgers going to think? And he said what he thinks is the best Apply call. Apply that to every coach and team in the league. So, I mean, there's there's some chemistry bills there. Just to say, I mean, there's always going to be chemistry between Favre and the receivers. They've played together long enough. I don't think there's a new receiver there. I think he's still got <laughs> his receiver core. So, uh, the only thing that, that sort of worries me a little bit, but it's, he's still Aaron Rodgers. And, and if a healthy Aaron Rodgers is deadly. Everybody right now is going, hell to the Bears. It's the Bears time. <laughs> and Aaron, my, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers might be going, all right, all right go ahead. <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk about it. You know? But uh, I think the Bears are going to be good. I think, uh, again, I'm going to pick the Packers to win the division because I'm not going to pick against Aaron Rodgers. But I think the Bears might be a wild card. I mean, they're not a bad team. If their defense is is, 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 is for as good as it was last year, yeah. it will definitely lead to the playoffs. It will definitely lead to the playoffs. Again, the question mark is Tr- Trubisky. They're talking good about him, too. There's the, the, the coach is saying that he's understand. Again, a little insider here for you. 
his head coach is saying that uh, he knows the plays this year. You know, like last year he would tell him, all right, you and this play met this, and, and now Trubisky's going, okay, I got that. Shut up, let's go. So he's he knows the plays. So he's not having to learn the, the plays and learn to talk and learn to speak. He knows it. So if he's going to Im improve, this is it. I think the third year he either he's either – we, he's either going to be a perennial good quarterback or he's going to be one of those, eh, one of those eh, quarterbacks. He's, he's, second. Okay. he's okay. He's okay. So he's either, well, the Bears mm. have never been known for having the fantastic quarterbacks throughout their history. No, but they're sort of leaning on it right now. They're sort of banking on that. So so they got a lot on the line here. But, but again, I think Green Bay wins, but Chicago's probably a uh, wild card. Wild card. So we'll go down to the NFC South. We got Tampa Bay. Bucks, Carolina Panthers, New Orleans Saints, and Atlanta Chokers. I mean, five, five, <laughs> sorry, 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 that, that slipped. It's just a slip of the tongue. Of the well, tongue. that's not that's not far off, man. I okay. mean, that, we know we are, we already know who the perennial uh, the the the, the New Orleans Saints have that division. Uh, yeah, we think so. the Tampa Bay Bucks are they're the, they're teetering they're off, on the brink of. Hard. Guess what year this is Jameis Winston's? Okay. Uh, it's his fifth year, dude. Five years? This is his fifth year starting. So this is it for him. It's either succeed or bust. I think, and I honestly think it's bust. I don't, have you, you know, you have to at least see flashes. You know, like, oh, yeah, we look, we look pretty. But he's become a turnover machine. He's become, so... Honestly, I think Tampa Bay finishes at the bottom. I think Atlanta. They do a complete overhaul. I think Atlanta has a has a decent team. I'll just be joking around. I think they're going to have a, a good team, but I don't think they're going to be good enough. I think uh, Carolina has retooled, dude. Oh yeah, they've retooled their pieces. This they are uh, getting. They've gotten younger. They are going defense. to be. They are going to be a dangerous team. Uh, I'm still going to pick the Saints to to win the division. Because I think the Saints probably should have been the the Super Bowl representative rep last year <laughs> and the year before that too. If it wasn't for the <laughs> the pass down the sideline to the uh, Vikings, that was crazy. Diggs, man, Diggs is a good player too. I really like Diggs, but uh, but uh, we say the Saints take the division. The Saints take the division because Drew Brees is Drew Brees. Yeah, and then uh, I th I do think Carolina's probably another wild card. But we'll go to the the NFC East. We got the New York Giants. The Dallas Cowboys, the Washington Redskins, the Philadelphia Eagles, uh, the Giants. Man, they are a mess. They're sort of a mess right now. I mean, highlighted by that embarrassing Daniel Jones pick, mm -hmm. I know you want to try to start new with a new quarterback, but if you wanted to help Eli Manning now, which was what the GM was wanting to do there, why would you pick a quarterback? That guy might be decent. I honestly think that they picked him to sit with Eli for the next two years and learn Eli because he was trained by the same uh, Cutcliffe. Cutcliffe was uh, Eli's coach. Going on back, it was Manning's offensive coordinator. Eli's coach. Teach him, teach him history. Teach a little history here. <laughs> uh, and then he's this quarterback's head coach. So he's in the Manning tree of a being a good quarterback, so uh, that's probably why they I did choose think, him. I thought they brought him in maybe to sit behind Eli. I don't think the Giants think they're going to win the Super Bowl this year. I think they're building for the future, and they and they're hoping this young quarterback is going to sit behind Eli and go, oh, okay. <laughs> and if he does that for the next couple of years, then maybe you know three years from now he might be in there hammering the ball a little bit. But, I do think they should have took Dwayne Haskins though if they were mm -hmm. going to take a quarterback. Dwayne Haskins is a right now. People would have clamored for him week two. You know, if you know what I'm saying? I think somebody said, well, put Haskins in. Eli sucks. But they're not going to say, you know, put this uh, new guy in because Eli sucks now because he's that, you know. So, I don't, I don't know. We'll wait and see. But they traded uh, uh, OBJ, so they're clearly and, not going to They're contend. clearly not shooting for the Super Bowl. Uh, we got the Washington Redskins, which are just uh, – Man, I just – there's a point where I gotta say there is IR, and then the rep the Redskins represent the IR right now. Mm -hmm. Poor Alex Smith. Yeah, and the they are they uh, yeah they are on the they're on the injury, in, the injury reserve more than they are. I think they'll probably finish between Washington. I think they'll finish down towards the bottom. I think Philadelphia. 
I think Philadelphia trading away Foles was a horrible thing to do. A bad thing to do. Yeah, a bad thing to do. Barely bad. I'm actually going to pick the Cowboys to win because, as of today, as of today, Ezekiel Elliott has signed a contract has signed extension. Signed a contract, and they signed a contract extension on an offensive lineman that was their best. They signed it on a defensive lineman that was their best. Uh, it's going to take a lot of pressure off of Dak having. Zeke, Zeke for an entire year. He's not been suspended three games here and suspended <laughs> three games there or hurt for four games or whatever. I'm gonna, so I'm going to pick Dallas to win that division. And then lastly, not East, we got NFC West, which is the Seattle Seahawks, San Francisco 49ers, LA Rams, and the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, the Ari- I, th- I say the Rams take that division. I think they do too. Arizona and San Francisco. Uh, Arizona, let's just say Arizona is awful. Yeah, they're going to probably lose, and San Francisco is going to probably come in second. Um, the only reason I'm picking Seattle to finish third is they just picked up Jadavian Clowney. Uh, they've lost a lot of defense, but he's a pretty good. I think he's a pretty good player. So uh, I'm going to pick. I'm, I'm going to pick Seattle to finish second. But we are finishing. We are, we are picking the Rams to, to claim the division once again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we've got uh, the NFC North. We've got. Green Bay and Minnesota, probably. Minnesota's a wild card. But we'll just pick the division winners. We got Green Bay, NFC South. We got New Orleans, NFC uh, East. We got the Cowboys, NFC West. We got the Rams. Our wild cards are probably going to be the Chicago Bears. And the Carolina Panthers. And the, and the Carolina Panthers. So um, so that's what we have picked. For the NFC. For the for the, uh, in a, for the a- NFC. Uh, again, if you think there's a little something different, you think we're crazy. I'm a Cowboy fan, <laughs> so I'm not gonna. I'm gonna pick the Cowboys over the Eagles. Uh, but there's good. always got to worry about Mr. Clappy Clappy on the yeah, sidelines. Mr. Clappy Clappy. Uh, yeah, Mr. <laughs> You're playing good. You're playing good. You're playing good. Uh, <sighs> you um, almost wish that they'd just go one of thirteen, fire Garrett, and get a new head coach. Gosh, did I say that out loud? I'm a Cowboys fan. The Cowboys are going to win the division. <laughs> uh, but anyways, that's it for the NFC. Uh, be sure and put some comments below. Let us know what you thought about it. Let us know if you pick somebody different than that or uh, if we're crazy, if we're insane, if you if, if you like it. Uh, be sure to hit, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the groovy baby button. Hit the button. groovy baby button over here somewhere. There will be a groovy baby button over here somewhere. Other than oh, that, hey, we're going to, uh, the next video up will be predictions for week Uno. One. Oh, doesn't that sound good? Week one of the NFL. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, that sounds, mm-hmm. that sounds very, very good. my harder. Uh, we, but anyways, s- stay tuned for our, uh, for our next NFL video, the predictions, the previews for week one. Other than that, we are out of here. See you next week.